about today? Uh, we were going to talk a little bit about the different types of financing for people. Let me turn my phone off there so we don't get any calls. Uh, a lot of people think there's no zero money down financing available anymore. And um, there's actually two methods for zero money down financing here in the Wichita area. Uh, first one is if you're a veteran. You know, if you served in the military like I did a long time ago, mm -hmm. you can get your veterans benefits so long as you haven't used them previously mm -hmm. and the certificate is still valid. If you used one, say, 30 years ago and you used that certificate from the VA for your eligibility to secure the property, then um, you can reuse it so long as you paid off that previous mortgage. Oh, I see. Okay. So you can't have two certificates out there. I see. Okay, so as long as that certificate is still in good standing, you're okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a certificate securing a loan now and you want to buy another house with VA financing, you can do that so long as you sell that one. So if you sell your, your current house uh -huh. to buy the new house, they switch over their certificate. I see. To get that done, you've got, uh, if you've never actually gotten your certificate of eligibility, you've got to produce your DD-214, which mm -hmm. is your discharge document. You take that down to the Veterans Administration, or you can do it online, which is probably faster and easier for folks. Mm -hmm. Last time I remember, it was facilitated out of California. It takes about two or three weeks to get that done. So you can do that all yourself. Or if you find a loan officer who can handle that for you, they use what's called the AIM system. It's a computerized system, and um, they do it for you all online. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is bring your loan officer, mm -hmm. your DD-214, and you're good to go with that. You should have no problems getting it, but don't wait till the last second to get it. Just, just in case there's any glitches, because anytime you do anything with the government, you never know how that's going to turn true. out. And now the the it has to be an honorable discharge, right? Right. 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 Or like a yeah, it has to be honorable. It could be like a medical discharge, like if you were injured in yeah. combat or something, or mm -hmm. just you know got got hit by a truck or something like that. Right. Because um, there's a variety of different ways, but it has to be in good standing. Mm -hmm. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is what's called the rural development program. The same people who certify our meats, the USDA, you ever see that stamp on the steak that you buy? Mm -hmm. USDA certified. Well, USDA also has another program. It's called the Rural Development Program. And that's for uh, trying to keep these small towns that surround larger towns from dying. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, Goddard, uh, you know, which is a growing city, but it's still in the program. Mm -hmm. uh, Colwich, Benton, Bentley, Belle Plain. Uh, pretty much any address in Wichita, ex ex in Kansas, except uh, Wichita, Topeka, Salina, and Kansas City. Pretty much every other city out there you can get a rural development loan on. Really? And you'll want to check with your loan officer to make mm -hmm. sure that address is, is valid. For example, in our area, if you have a Wichita address, forget it. Mm -hmm. um, Maze is included. Um, oh, really? Yeah, okay. Maze is included in the program, Valley mm -hmm. Center. The eastern half of Park City is included. Uh, Bel Air is not included, but I believe Keechai is. Andover's not, Derby's not, but Mulvane and Rose Hill are. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you like the idea of living out in the country, you can get in with a zero money down program. The nice thing about that is that compared to a USDA or excuse me, compared to an F, uh, FHA loan, you need 3.5 percent down. So if you buy a hundred thousand dollar house, you have to put three point uh, thirty five hundred dollars down. Mm -hmm. With the rural development or the VA, you don't. Ah. Um, with a conventional, you're lucky if you find somebody who will loan you a, a, a conventional loan at 10% 10, 10 down now. So again, on a $100,000 house, you would need $10,000 down. With rural development and VA, you don't. It's, it's, um, they're, they're just the only two programs out there that, that will do that for you. Um, the, uh, the nice thing about it is that you're still going to get a real nice interest rate. Even though you're not actually putting the money down, the, the, the down payment, it's still a government-backed loan. Government-backed loans take a little bit extra time to process, whereas a conventional loan and a, and, a, and a standard FHA, you can get that done in about a month. Because this is zero money down, they need to do a little more work to make sure that the government investment in your property is not going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. They do a little bit more time on that. So you're probably looking anywhere from 30 days to, to six weeks to close. So, so give that kind of loan a little more time mm -hmm. than, than you would for the, the, the basic FHA or a conventional loan. So that's something to be wary of. Um, the, uh, with the zero money down program, your biggest costs are going to come from, first thing that's going to really start hitting you is your appraisal fee. Because the bank and the government want to make sure that if you're buying that $100,000 house, it's worth $100,000. It's mm -hmm. not worth seventy. 
and you're buying it from your cousin and you're putting an extra thirty thousand dollars on top and you're splitting the difference mm -hmm. they want to make sure they're not going to be victims of some of the uh, some of the frauds that have been going on as we've all been seeing with banks and lending and things like that so they're going to get the appraisal done for you that's going to be somewhere between four and five hundred dollars mm -hmm. uh, it's not the bank that does the appraisal you give the check to your loan officer the loan officer then sends it to a clearinghouse for appraisers. Then the, the clearinghouse randomly picks an appraiser, and that appraiser uh, will go out and is a uh, is a totally impartial third party. They'll rate it compared to what other houses have sold for, mm -hmm. come in, give their assessment, and then the other thing you pay for is your home inspection. That's really about it on a zero money down loan. Okay. Well, Happy New Year to you. Thank you. You too. And uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes with some movie releases. I'm not sure what they are yet. We'll find that out together. So stay with us. We'll be right back.